What's up, fam? Good morning, fam. Welcome back to the channel. So today, Donald and I are just getting out, hanging out, nothing planned, nothing specific. Yeah. But I, I needed him to take me to Hobby Lobby this morning. And so we might just make a day of it, you yeah. know? We might just go ahead and make a day of it. So we're just hanging out. We're going to ride around a little bit. Don't know where we're going to end up, but I heard about this hot dog place, right? And well, I so like hot dogs. he loves a good, like this place has so many different styled hot dogs and stuff like that. So we may stop by there uh, sometime today. But yeah, we're just hanging out today. It's a beautiful day right now. The temp is reading 81 degrees. I was like, listen. When I told y'all 30 degrees, I was about right. It's yes. a 30 degree difference. So Vegas right now is my favorite place. <laughs> now, I couldn't live here and yeah. I wouldn't want to live here, but the weather is so nice. Like the other night we were we were out and it was what, 75, 70 degrees? This morning I got up and took DJ for his morning walk. It was 65. 65. It felt great. I had my little sweatpants on. It is almost cardigan season, family. Not the cardigan. It's almost cardigan season. <laughs> Not the, that a, lady told you that wasn't a cardigan. Now care. you better listen. I don't care. I'm still calling a cardigan. I'm, I'm probably going to have to buy a new one. But I'm trying to find one at the same kind of way. I've had that one for like three years now. Yeah. And it's time to uh, switch Donald it up a little bit. Donald a man in his cardigan. And see, now he has DJ soul. <laughs> The man, I'm the cardigan, DJ a cardigan, and the dog. What? <laughs> I'm gonna get DJ, you know, a, cardigan. Get DJ a cardigan. Oh, now that's man. gonna be some funny stuff. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's pretty funny. The dog and his cardigan. Yeah, it's well, be... they sell them, so that that could be something. But you know, DJ likes his vest. You know, everybody was like, "Hey, y'all should take the vest off of DJ." We take it off, and then he tried to climb back into it. He cl tried to climb back into his vest. Now, Peggy said she thinks it because he wanted to go for another walk. Yeah, well, but here's the thing. DJ knows when that comes off that no more outside yeah. that day. Because if Donald says, come on, he is running to the door. Woo. He just likes hanging out. So you can't get mad at that. He's, a, I'm starting to come around. <laughs> I really am. DJ greets Peggy every morning. Yes, he does. Now, he lick her little calf when she walked by. That's kind of like, ooh, kind of shivering. But it's... it's Okay, so when you're first walking out and you just woke up <laughs> and you feel something cold go up the back of your leg, I'm like, why does he lick the back of my calf every morning? <laughs> so you got to get yourself used to that. So after a while, I'm, I'm going to, it won't even bother me anymore after yeah. a while. But it's been so chilly in the RV. Like, I've been having to wear pajamas. And yeah. I, I, I embrace that. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm ready for winter time RVing because we really, this will be our first time Our first it. winter RV. We're going we're gonna to really share with you guys everything that goes on, goes through our head and stuff, the preparedness and everything. But I feel like it's going to be awesome. I feel I like do it's going to be I, great. I'm excited for it. Like, my little cheeks hurting. But listen, let me take this time <laughs> out right now to say happy birthday to Mrs. Easley. That's right. I want to say happy birthday to her because our friend, Mr. Rodney Easley, he reached out and he was like, he's in Italy with his wife right now celebrating her 50th birthday. And he was just touching base with us. We love our Rodney. And it's also we the 25th year of being married. I don't know if it's 20, an anniversary or not, but it's 25 years 25 married. years of being married. 50 year birthday in Italy. In Italy is the it, life don't get no better. Look, Rodney, I'm so happy for you. My <laughs> cheeks hurt. I'm so happy for you, Rodney. <laughs> oh, we love our family. I'm telling you yes. guys. I, I'm just so happy for Rodney and Mrs. Easley. So congratulations to you guys. 25 years. Everybody can't do that. Every, uh, that that is everybody ain't that's some work. So <laughs> we we're gonna have to talk to Miss Easley one day. Yeah. But anyway, Rodney, I want to say congratulations to you and your wife. We love you guys. Thank you for being loyal subscribers right. and family members. There you go. All right, guys. I just had to say that because I, I love me some Rodney. Yeah, Rodney comes on all our lives. He always yeah. like he takes sides all the time. Like, he's always on the man's side. No, not always. <laughs> not always, but, but the majority of the time he takes the man's side. He always kind of find a way to take sides, but he always do it in a little funny little jiving way. Little, I cannot wait to meet him. We he's gonna come to our 
Arizona meet and greet. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting all of you guys, but him particularly because yeah. he, he is like family, you know. But anyway, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take off and see where this day leads us. Yeah. So come along right, and ride on this fantastic voyage. What song was that, y'all? What song was that? The come along and ride come on Come along and ride on this fantastic voyage. Slide, slide, slide. Okay. Anyway, we'll see you guys. All right, fam. Hey, guys. So we are on the other end of the strip, right? Now, I'm going to tell you why I came down here because I'm being a stalker stalker, right? <laughs> so I found out that my favorite mukbanger, his name is Lips, L-L-I-P-S. Him and production are down here on the strip. <laughs> and I'm coming to stalk him to see if I can find him. Isn't it fun beating <laughs> people on YouTube? I can't wait to meet him. I'm excited. Look, like he gonna be down here. I'm gonna stand on the corner and wait till he come out. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna walk around a little bit. This is where all the action is. This is the other end. What do, what do they call it? Is this the south end? Well, I don't know. It's the, I call it the north end. This is the side with uh, the New York, New York, and uh, Luxor, and MGM Grand. So on the other side, you got Treasure Island and uh, the Wynn Hotel and Encore, that kind of stuff. So I don't know which side is which, but hey, three Mickey miles on this side. Mickey Mouse. Can y'all see Mickey? He going to work.
going on, fam? So we're in front of the Bellagio, right? Yes. Now they said the uh, fountain show supposed to be like every 20 minutes during the day, I think it is. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna sit here a little bit and see if we can catch the next show. Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we're doing, fam. All, all right. right. It's like every time I come to Vegas, I find out new places that we haven't been. Now, I'm talking about the Strip. I understand that there are some places off the Strip that are just as great. Yeah. But I'm just talking about on the Strip because I like coming on the Strip. I just, I don't, I can't explain Something it. Something about the lights and the sounds and... Just everything. Yeah. Okay, so we had already been to the M&M store like what three four times already yeah, well every time we come to Vegas we go to the M&M store yeah. and so I saw somewhere a short or something somebody had went to the Hershey store and it looked amazing and I was like let's go to the Hershey store I have never been more disappointed in my life <laughs> I was like I can't get them steps back <laughs> but it was just yeah, because we had to pass by our parking spot to get to the Hershey store. So we was back after walking like five and a half miles a day. And we get back to our parking lot. And Peggy said, let's just go a little further because the Hershey store is right there. So, yeah, because I'm like, um, we won't be here for another couple of years. I can't see coming back to Vegas next year. So but maybe the year after. Yeah. Right? And we made that little walk and the escalator down was out of order so we had to take stairs down after crossing a couple bridges and all that kind of stuff see donald makes a, a, a walk sound like five miles because i'm like how long to the car well you gotta go up cross down go over a little bit then go back up and then walk across the bridge and, then, and i'm like 
How far is that? Oh, three minutes. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta stop doing that. That's my three minute walk. I'm like, but, you just say three minutes. <laughs> it's so funny because he's very detailed. And I guess I don't fuss so much. He's like, look, I'm telling you everything because I don't want you to say I didn't tell you. Yeah. But I'm like, so Donald, how long is that? <laughs> three minutes. About three minute walk. I'm just so <laughs> disappointed. So anyway, we have just been enjoying this day. It's been so much fun. And I was stalking lips because he said he was staying at the Planet, Planet Hollywood. Hollywood Hotel and he was at Hell's Kitchen last night and I didn't see him. I wanted to see lips. <laughs> I never wanted to be the stalker type, but I want to see lips. I just want to sing his little song to him. The business in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> I don't know the songs, fam. I like lips. <laughs> he make everything look good. Even the chitterlings that he eat on the his chitterlings. channel. chitterlings. They even look good. But anyway, we, we have just been having fun. So I thought the hot dog place was going to be on Fremont Street, but it wasn't. It's actually off of the strip. So we're going to come over to, what is it called? Two Hand Corn Dogs. Two Hand Corn Dogs. It's a Korean corn dog shop. Mm -hmm. And they have all these different flavors. And Donald and I are going to pick three. And we're going to sit down and try them. They just look so good. I know I saw B Love eating one. Oh, a couple of years ago and I was like man they got all the good eating spots where she is and I'm like so every time we go somewhere I look to see if they have Korean corn dogs and stuff like that because yeah. I want to do it now there was a lady selling fresh fruit cups fresh fruit cups oh my gosh it looks so good she had mangoes pineapples watermelons kiwis strawberries and the cups were pretty tall and her price was reasonable yeah but then when she went to get her bearing she put her bare hand down on top of all that fruit and I had to walk away yeah. but it just looks so good I'm like ma'am if you had just had on some gloves if she just had on some gloves if she that had, oh right. that fruit looks so good and then she sprinkled some how of do you that find such beautiful hate. fruit because we just like that pineapple the oh yellow my was, God. the yellow was, it was so, so bright vibrant. yeah it, it was, was so, so it looks so good but when she <laughs> fell off in that fruit I couldn't do it but if she had hair gloves on and then she would sprinkle that tahine on it yeah so why I want to go home and make me a fruit bowl <laughs> but it'll be a waste because Donald won't eat it it won't be a waste Will you eat it? I like, uh, where'd you put, you put some tahini on some melon and some uh, pineapple. I like that. What else, what else is in the fruit bowl? She had pineapple, um, mango. I'm going to tell y'all this, y'all. Watermelon. What? Mango. I fell in love with mango when I was deployed in Afghanistan. He sure did. He but sure did. But it is not, it, well, they, they had a bag of dried mango. Couldn't even bet a pound. Cost 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something like that. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, every time we got a new bag, everybody just tore through that bag and stuff. And then Peggy sent me a bag. I was trying because to because he kept it. talking about it, right? Yeah. And I'm just because I would send him care packages. I would try to send him a care package at least once a month, once every two months, because it took him a month to get it. Yeah, it took a while to get you it. You know, to send over there. And I sent him a bag. He was like, I like them so much, but they're so expensive. They were like $17. But I guess 10 years ago, $17 was a lot. I mean, cause we tried to order on Amazon. It cost like $25 a bag and yeah. stuff. But, but I love dried mango. That's my favorite flavor. Every time I see mangoes uh, flavored whatever, juice or yeah. sodas or whatever it is. But he, but it had to be the real it had, mango. It had to be the real Because I tried to send him some from Kroger and he was like, yeah, that's not it. Yeah, And it was still $30. $13. Tastes like leather strips. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nope, he this is like, wrong. He was like, don't send me that no more. <laughs> Look, it took, it took him a month to get it. He was excited. He was like, yeah, that's not it. Yeah. And so I had to order it from, I can't remember what website you had me order it from, but I was. You remember? It. I was like, yeah. yeah I, I, re I remember more than you give me credit for. <laughs> I used to love sending him little. Uh, boxes because he was like I want soup and you can't get soup here and you, know how, soup. and you know how heavy soup is the soup <laughs> I sent him 12 cans of soup but it cost more to ship because it was heavy but even though they were giving us a discount because it was going to uh, what was that five 
uh, Bagram. Bagram. Or, it yeah. was going to Bagram because we were at Fort Gordon at the time. And, uh, you know, they, they weren't charging us full price to send y'all stuff. Because it was a military town, too. Yeah. So, and I, I wouldn't dare go on post to that post office because you would be in there all day long. <laughs> so I had to go off post and um, I used to mail it to them. But I was just shocked because to to buy those, what, I, I sent you 12 cans of soup at a dollar thirty nine each, right? And to mail it, it still cost me almost 50 bucks. Wow. With the discount because of the weight and, you know, yeah. I was sending him other stuff too. Because I remember one time I had sent him a box and he never got it. Never, yeah. And I was like, Donald, I know I sent you a box because I would put little niceties in there, ladies. I would put little niceties <laughs> in there because he had been gone for six months and all I could do was talk to him on the phone on Sundays. And so that box never got to Donald. But do you know, once he came home, they were returning the box. She gave her all, boy. I know. I did. I was. I was. I was in that thing, baby. I was in that thing. I was. I was trying to be a supportive wife because I had seen a lot of guys whose wives were just who the wives had lost it when they left. So we did get the variety pack from what is it called? The Two Hands Corn Dog. Two Hands Corn Dog. Korean Corn Dogs. Korean Corn Dogs. They, I don't know what I was expecting. Like they look exactly like the pictures when you order them. That's a good shot. Okay, so Donald wanted a classic dog, pick number three, baby. Yep. And so it's a classic dog. She say just like you get at the store, but the thing is it's gonna have ketchup, mustard, and uh, powdered sugar, brown sugar on top. Yeah. So I'm gonna let Donald have his way with that one <laughs> and see what he thinks. Now, you're, you're op you have options of if you what you want inside. You could get a beef dog, a spicy beef dog, a regular dog, you can get cheeses and stuff like that and I told her to give them to me exactly how you know the most popular and so that's what she did so I don't know what's on in the inside but we'll see so there's no dog in there I don't think there's no dog in there it's all cheese is it good? it is it tastes really good it's got a little sweetness to it Sweet and cheesy, you wouldn't think that would work, but it does work. Can I take a little, just a little bit of it? Just, <laughs> nope, there's no dog in there. If you, you can see all the way down in the hollow parts of it. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. So there was a dog in there. So you could get it half cheese, half dog. I guess that's how she gave it to us. Okay, so describe this next one. It's the potato dog. This is the one I really wanted to try. All right, now this is the potato dog. Okay, can you read it and tell what, what it is? Okay. Potato cubes wrapped corn dog with two hands dirty sauce. Two hands dirty sauce, so I guess that's what that is. It almost looked like crumbled up flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> that's, that's what it, what it looked like. like. Now y'all know your girl love potatoes. This is good. Potatoes and cheese. Mmm. That's good. Is the corn dog there, you think? I think it's all at the bottom like this. Oh. That's what that is. Honestly, I thought that was going to be the worst one. Did you? Yeah. I'm like, potatoes? I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, but it tastes like french fries. It's good. It tastes like french fries? Mm-hmm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. 
So let's try the next one. That is the crispy rice. Crispy rice puffs wrapped corn dog added extra crispness and flavor. Y'all see, I gave that one a dollar. Is that rice crispy? Mm hmm. Is it good? Very crunchy rice crispies. Is it good? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm not going to even try that one. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. So the next one I want to try is what is this one? That is the spicy dog. Oh, now I'm looking for this one because y'all know your girl love everything spice. What is the sauce on top? Is that cheese or mustard? Two hand spicy sauce and Cheetos powder, hot Cheetos powder. So flaming hot Cheetos, like I thought. She didn't put no hot dogs in none of these. Mm -mm. You wanna try? I don't need to. Ain't got no hot dog in it. <laughs> you gotta bite the back to get a hot dog. This is good. Okay. This is really good. What it tastes like? A mozzarella stick. Oh, that's what, what a little sweet and That's spicy. what they are. These are very, very fancy mozzarella sticks. And we have one last one. Yep. That is the classic two hands dog. Just the basic. Mm -hmm. This is their two hands dog. It's um, two hands signature seasoning with sweet ranch sauce. Mmm, that sounds good. I like the Let ranch. Let me try it. Now this one does have a hot dog in it. You can see it. I can see the hot dog halfway down. I'm gonna wrap that cheese back around it like that. There you go. Okay for him. I like that one. Do you? Mm-hmm. So which was your favorite? It might be the potato dog. Mine too. Alright. Try something new. We'll be here at Town Square, which is at the end of the strip. So it's right after you pass, right after you leave Las Vegas. And you have the little Las Vegas sign, you sign, and a long line for, to take a picture in front of the sign. Yeah, but soon the you Las Vegas this, sign. Yeah, like but, people. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, never saw that sign all the times we've been coming. No, here. we never leave. We never left the strip from this end. Oh. But soon you leave the strip, you got Town Square, you got a lot of little shopping area and that kind of stuff. Got a golf course over here and mm -hmm. airports over here on the left hand side. So yeah, it's basically at the end of the strip. So by the time you get done tasting these, you'll be full. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna stop and get us something to drink and then we're gonna head back to get old DJ because I'm sure he is having a fit fit, baby. Yep. Because we left him alone. He didn't want to get in the cage. He knew what time it was. But anyway, today I will call an overall success. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. It was just fun to get out. The weather is pretty, it's really good. It's only 89 degrees. Yeah. We got our steps in. So yeah, we got our steps all the way in today. Like, I'm going home and take me a shower and I'm in for the rest of the day. <laughs> but it was it was fun. It was yep. fun. I had a great day. It doesn't take much for me to have a good time. I just, it was good just me, me and Donald by ourselves, walking, holding hands, seeing sights, talking to strangers, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yep. And of course, y'all know he saw all the Vegas showgirls. Disgusting. And every time he would walk by, he's like, disgusting i'm like oh boy stop <laughs> just stop <laughs> they had men out there this they time. had men out there this time and, trying to uh, flex their abs i don't want to i didn't want to show them up though because I'm, I'm not i'm not a paid he, he didn't want to break the guns out no i didn't, I didn't want to show them up one lady told donald she was like you smiling you always you're almost there and i say oh so you smiling behind my back at these ladies <laughs> is that what he out here doing I'm in these all these streets smiling. that's a sad part i'm always <laughs> smiling so you can't tell whether i'm smiling at at people or not. I, I wouldn't care one way or the other. But then the guy walked up to me. He was like, okay, ladies, it's your turn. I'm like, yeah, okay, Cliff. <laughs> they outside with leather pants on and boots. Cowboy hats. With, with oil down skin. And the, the ladies were, were doing and it. The ladies were liking it. They were. But I, I got my own gun show. I go. got my own gun show. Yep. Don't Bam. 
free of charge. Free of charge. All right, fam. So thank you for joining us today. I don't. My cheeks hurt so bad because I've been smiling all day and laughing. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog. Uh, we will see you in Sunday's video. But until then, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Y'all remember to go out there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well. Y'all take it easy, fam. Bye-bye. Peace.